I'm here with Rick Spencer, the director of Ubuntu Engineering, and we're at UDS in Budapest planning the 11 tan cycle. Rick, what exactly does the director of Ubuntu Engineering do? Um, so as director of Ubuntu Engineering, all the teams that build the desktop edition and the server edition uh, they roll up to me. So the kernel engineering manager, the desktop engineering manager, the QA engineering manager, uh, the foundations engineering manager, uh, the release manager, the technical architect, et cetera, all these, like, all those leaders are all on my team and I manage and direct that team. So you have your finger on the entire pulse of everything that's going on in, as it relates yeah. to each release of Ubuntu. S sort of, yeah. So, um, well, I'm really blessed, like, my job is made a lot easier by having, like, a really strong team of managers. So, um, you know, for instance, within the server team, Robbie Williams leads that team, and he's a very strong leader. He's got, you know, he understands the pulse of the community and the product and everything. So I wouldn't say I have my finger on the pulse there because, um, you know, Robbie does. Uh, so my job is more to help Robbie help Pete, help, um, help Jason, you know, help Steve, help all the engineering managers. And I help them by doing things like, you know, representing the other canonical uh, business units. I help them by um, getting our goals aligned and making sure we're all rowing in the same direction. Um, sometimes I help them just by, you know, maybe, uh, picking up some tasks that they, you know, they might be traveling and maybe someone needs to, you know, talk to someone in the community about something on their behalf. So it's that kind of thing. So um, it's, you know, a directing role, but it's also very much, for this particular staff, very much a supporting role because they're, like, everyone is so stellar at their jobs. And speaking of management and the management team that you have and, and the changes that have been happening um, with your COO leaving. Now Matt Zimmerman has announced mm -hmm. that he'll be leaving. Um, Robbie wore several hat mm -hmm. team, you know, team hats. Um, QA now is, you know, you have one manager running both of those teams now. So the community, um, the, the undercurrent is kind of what's going on and what does that mean for, for you guys as canonical, but what does that translate to, to the community and what can they expect from these changes. Oh, interesting. Well, I think the Matt case is different than the others because Matt was, you know, he's one of the first five people to join Canonical. He's been working with Mark and, you know, Colin and all the original folks from the beginning. And, you know, uh, I, if you've ever worked in technology, like seven years in one company can get to be a really long time. So, um, and then, like, I think for us as individuals, it's, hard to say what it's going to be like without him because he has been our leader within the company and he's been our advocate and he's been our friend and um, I, I don't know what it's going to be like, um, which is not to say I'm concerned because like we do have a really stellar team left. We're going to do maybe a little reorganizing to try to cover the gaps that he'll leave and also he's going to, he's still committed to be part of Ubuntu. I talk to him about this all the time so I don't feel like we're we're going to lose his guidance uh, in the Ubuntu project. So um, I'm not sure how Matt leaving is really going to impact the community per se in, in that regard. Um, I do think you, what I'm hoping is, I don't want to speak for Matt, what I'm hoping is he'll actually be a bit more hands-on with the Ubuntu because like some of the, you know, corporate work that you have to do in a big company. I'm hoping like since he's not doing that, he'll be like more, you know, more technical depth from him like the old days. That's what I'm hoping there. In terms of um, the rest of the management team, it's actually an interesting question because I never really thought about it that way. You know, from my perspective, like the company's growing fast, the team's growing fast, we have a really good management team and we just, we're just like the engineering team, we just do what needs to be done to get us you know, plan through the next release. Robbie's a great example. You know, like foundations needs to be covered, server needs to be covered, 
he steps up and he takes care of it. Um, I don't, I don't really think there was any like Im implications there. I mean, I guess if I was going to take anything away, um, I would say, you know, like the Ubuntu engineering engineering team is like very, very committed to the success of Ubuntu and the success of Ubuntu as a community open source distro. And, um, uh, I just, I feel we just, we have the right people in place. Um, we've had a few new people join, but you know, we've got some depth now. Like people have been, been here for like a few years now managing the teams. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't read anything into it. There's no, we're not really building for anything. We're just trying to take each release as it comes and do the best job that we can for our teams, you know. And, and speaking of releases, since 11 and 4 is out the door now and, and reviews are pouring in over that, as you had the broad, the luxury of having that broad overview uh, of that cycle, what was that exciting moment for you last cycle? Um, okay, so there's the obvious one and then there's the sleeper hit. So the really obvious exciting moment was when it flashed on me that like unity is going to work, you know, and that was, I'd been using it early, but I didn't know whether it was going to be ready to be the default experience. Um, and I wasn't, you know, like a lot of people were looking to me for guidance about whether we should bank on it or not. So I was thinking about it a lot. And then, between Alpha 1 and Alpha 2, the Compass team, the Unity team, the desktop team, um, they all like conquered down and fixed bugs. And then I installed, I upgraded from Alpha 1 to Alpha 2, and all my bugs were gone. And not only were all my bugs gone, but like the launcher stopped sticking open, the, the um, windows, the meta key, whatever, you know, the shortcuts were all working really well. And I realized that I don't even see Unity anymore. It's just, I, I'm just using Ubuntu and I'm just clicking through my work. Um, and sometimes my work is just play. Sometimes my work is programming. Sometimes my work is, you know, office documents. But whatever I was doing, like, there, there was no friction with Unity. And I realized, like, this is a big deal. Like we're really onto something here and this is a major contribution to open source software. Like this is gonna like, so I'm st st still a bit cautious. So the response to Unity after we shipped was not as bad as I was worried it was gonna be, but not as like great as I was hoping it would be. It is a big change and I understand that. Um, and I think a lot of the feedback is just like, wow, that's a lot of change. But I don't think that's all the feedback. I think some of it is like bona fide, you know, mistakes, things that need to be fixed and stuff. But seeing that like alpha one to alpha two step function and quality um, gave me like a lot of confidence that, you know, the step between 11.04 and 11.10 is going to be like address all those all those criticisms. So yeah, th th that was like really a tingly moment for me, like, and just feel really proud to be associated with that part of the project. There's another little sleeper hit thing that happened to me though that I wanted to just mention real quick, which is about the server. The server project is, like actually has a lot of users and Ubuntu server, like if you look in like, you know, public clouds, like in Amazon and stuff like that, like there's a lot of people who use it and it like, you know, it's, it's free in every meaning of the word and people are like getting a lot of interesting things done. And the team came up with this notion called orchestra. And when I finally like, really understood like what they were trying to do with orchestra and the fact that this came like from the server team, that was also like a tingly moment. I mean, they're not like as far along as Unity is, but Unity, you know, this is not the first release of Unity. Um, so seeing like that team come up with something that clever and that user focused made me, yeah, that was like a tingly moment. Like the server, the Ubuntu server is gonna be a really important project to people over the next few years and I think it's gonna yield a lot of innovation. Like a lot of people are gonna use it to build really fascinating things. I think we have time for one more question. Um, and that would be, what are you looking forward to most in 11, 
10 and beyond. And how has being at this UDS supported what you're looking forward to in those releases? I see. Well, I have some... I have some goals for 1110 as director. Um, uh, this one probably is not like what you're asking me necessarily, but I thought I should touch on it. Like, so I've, I've given my team, you know, my engineering manager, some guidance about what are the biggest priorities, and that the number one priority is to like make sure that we're investing in, in our community contributors. I think that there's some strain between Canonical and the community, and I think a lot of this is due to, you know, mistakes, actions on Canonical's part. Uh, my team doesn't necessarily, like, you know, we don't run all of Canonical, um, but within what we are running, um, I've asked for, you know, within our, you know, circle of control, the things that we can, I ask to focus on two main things. And the first thing is, like, make sure the existing core contributors are, like, getting what they need to still be effective and have fun at their job. And by core contributor, like, I don't mean necessarily core dev. I do mean core dev, but I mean everyone who's been investing in Ubuntu for a long time, everyone who's helped us on this journey. Um, uh, let's, you know, make sure that we don't inadvertently take that for granted just because we're building new things. Doesn't mean we can't go back and not make sure the foundation of the house is also in good shape. So there's that. The other thing that I ask for is, like, I ask for every team to have a plan to get, like, some new contributors in, like there are people who want to contribute, um, maybe there's some things that we can do differently to invite people in. And I've seen good progress on both those fronts at this UDS so far. It's only Wednesday, so. Ex exactly, so, yeah. well, thank you so much for stopping by and talking to me, and I'm looking forward to seeing what the future of Bunchy holds. Yeah, me too, thanks, Amber, mm -hmm. appreciate it.